My name is D.W. Park from Asan Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. I'm PI of Octopus Trial. I'm Do Yun Kang from the same center and the first order of the Octave Trial Manuscript. The, the key of main need and the, in the real practice, we are widely used intracoronary imaging guided PCI. The, in the real world, we have two very nice tool. One is IVUS, one is OCT. But the, until recently, there is no comparative effectiveness research comparing OCT versus IVUS for PCI guidance. That was a, a main need, the reason why we do such like Octopus trial. And we enrolled a patient, 2,000 patients with a diverse coronary artery anatomy, it also including complex region subset. And the results showed that the non-inferiority of the OCT compared to the conventional IVUS imaging guidance in all common PCI subset. The event rate was the about 3% in both group and showed non-inferiority. Yes, as a patient population, we try to ignore the diverse uh, you know, anatomical and clinical factor. This is a pragmatic design. We include uh, as much as possible you know, minimal exclusion criteria. Major exclusion criteria was just the STEMI, EGFR less than 30% is uh, you know, the uh, advanced the CKD and the ejection fraction less than 30% and the cardiogenic shock. That was a minimal exclusion criteria was adapted in our octopus trial. The primary endpoint was the target vessel failure, a composite of cardiac death, target vessel myocardial infarction, and target vessel revascularization at one year after index the randomization. And the trial results showed that the 2.5% of the target vessel failure at OCT group and 3.1% in IVES group, they showed significant non-inferiority was approved. If you're going to use the IVUS or if you're going to use the OCT, that there is a safety concern. Is a, you know, in our trial in Nord 2008 patient, we didn't find any OCT or IVUS procedure-related safety complication. Overall procedural complication requiring active inter intervention was slightly lower in the OCT group rather than the IVUS group. Our trial absolutely demonstrated that if you're going to do intracoronary imaging guided the PCI using OCT or IVUS and the safety issue, it doesn't matter, absolutely. And the, the amount of the contrast used were a little bit higher in OCT group. However, the rate of the contrast induced nephropathy was not different between groups. You know, that is the most important question. How can you apply our trial finding in your daily PCI practice? You know, Absolutely, many, many trials shows that if you're going to do intracoronary imaging guided PCI, that is guarantees a better outcome compared to angiography guided PCI. There are two options of intracoronary imaging, IVUS or OCT, and in your choice, in your preference, in your experience, you can choose anyone. That could be shows the comparable efficacy and safety outcome. That is our key practical message in October's trial. We enrolled all coma patients, how, and the intravascular imaging, the benefit of the intravascular imaging is well known over the angiographic guided PCI. However, we still have some question that the intravascular imaging would be needed for all patients or some complex PCI subset. So we need more data about that, and also we are the the re preparing the subgroup, key subgroup analysis of the complex PCI of the patient. So, and uh, today the highlight session four at the ESC this year, this is absolutely wonderful section. I, I never seen before such like interventional imaging specific trial session. So I think uh, our highlight session is a very, you know, one of the highlight session of the ESC. I think this session is provided a lot of evidence to boost your the using of intracoronary imaging based PCI in your practice. That is would be very critical key point of this meeting in the next future.